What up, what up? It's your boy KTG. Uh, we got the 06 CBR 1000 double R here. Don't tell my baby girl. I feel like I'm cheating on her. I feel like I'm cheating on the 929. But this thing is beautiful. I love it. I love the way it looks. Um, reminds me so much of my 06 CBR 600 RR, but just way. Just a bigger motor, just the leader. It's got the chrome rims, the Jardine exhaust. Um, let's, let's get it started. Let's turn it on and see what it sounds like here. But yeah, again, it's a 06. It has about 16,000 miles. What? Oh, listen to that. That thing is a deep roar right there. Um, last time I rode this bike, it had different fairings. Um, yeah, look at he got. Uh, I don't know if he had those headlights on. Those headlights on before. I think I think he did. I'm not sure. Oh, he just has his high beams on this way. Oh, but it looks so mean with the high beams on. It's daylight. We'll just keep them on. <sighs> Man, that thing is, is beautiful. I like the way this looks aesthetically. It's a pretty bike. Looks like he's been uh, bug hunting lately. Let's take this baby out for a ride, though. Oh, man. It feels so small between my legs. That's what she said. <laughs> but if, there's some weight to this. There's some weight, definitely some weight to it. Um, yeah, just coming off the, the 929 and sitting on this, this feels a lot lower. And he said he didn't do anything else to it, just the exhaust and the, the rims, which put on weight, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, so let's, let's take this baby out and see how it feels. Stay safe, stay clean. Oh, everything just feels a lot newer. And it's 06. Oh, yeah. Stock steering damper? I forgot this HESD thing on my jig. Um, I can feel it working. I can feel it stiffening up the the steering because it doesn't feel so nimble. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I can feel it like it's like the steering is very stiff. faster it kind of like yeah there we go see oh, at low speeds yeah you can feel it that exhaust is loud yeah it feels so small Yeah, when you counter steer, you can feel the resistance on here. It just feels so stiff. I don't know. I don't know if that. I have uh, no idea what. I don't remember it feeling like this the first time. It's definitely not a bad thing, though. It's not a bad thing. It's just, it's different. Yeah. Oh yeah. That feels amazing. Stay safe, stay clean. Yeah, once you pick up speed, yeah, it, I can feel it. It feels porky. That's that's probably what I thought. It felt so heavy, and, and it does feel heavy, but once you get it up to speed, yeah, I feel like I can do some dirt in this. Uh, slightly higher, not by too much, uh, red line. Uh, I got 11 and a half versus this 12. I'm trying to 
the counter steer, it feels so stiff. At low speeds. Is that how it's supposed to be? I feel really comfortable on this bike though. What's going on over there with that trike? Man, this thing is loud. Yeah, it feels so small. It's, man, like confusing my mind. Like my bike looks so much bigger than this bike. But it weighs less. And this bike looks so much smaller, but it weighs more. It's just... I don't know. I love it though. I like it. I like the fail of the CBR. It just feels at home to me. I guess you can call me a Honda fanboy, but you know what? Honestly, if I could get any bike, I would probably get the R1, the new R1. Or like a S1000 double R. But this bike, man, I don't know. I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks. I keep saying that because it's, yeah, it's aesthetically, you know, this, the, the, the O, what, O3 to O6 CBR 600 double R. The, this generation CBR 1000. I, I just love the way that bike looks. Those bike looks. They just, I don't know, are very easy on the eyes for me. And it's a subjective thing. Yeah, I feel like I can ride this all day long. The rider triangle is very comfortable for me. I don't feel like I'm so crunched in. Power-wise, this is probably 25 more horsepower. All right, I gotta figure out how to get back to this house now. Yeah, it's just like, man, look at slow speeds. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I really have to counter steer. Like, I don't remember it feeling like that before. And then pick up speed, it doesn't feel so stiff. So that does kind of feel weird for me. I mean, I guess it takes a little getting used to. Yeah, it dips in. It definitely dips in, but it can. Yeah, just at low speeds. Okay. That's just something I guess you just have to get used to. You know, because when I'm on my 929 and I wanna push this handlebar and it moves the handlebar moves I can feel it moving and this bike feels awesome I love it don't tell my CBR that I feel like I'm cheating on her she doesn't know it she's probably thinking she's gonna get replaced soon yeah definitely at slow speeds the counter steering It feels a lot different. There's a cat just right in the middle of the road, just staring at me. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm like in some random neighborhood now. See, this is what. All right, look at. I, it feels like it's kind of like moving on its own. Like it's weird. Like it knows that I'm doing a slow speed turn and it kind of like moves on its own. Yeah, right, it's turning that. He lives like down there somewhere. Yeah, look at that. It like turns in for me. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know what's going on with it. It's like it has a mind of its own. Is that how it's supposed to be? But then once you get pickup speed, it is back to like normal. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have a whole bunch of comments like, you're dumb. So what? Uh, I never experienced this, alright? Or his house is probably up there. I think it is. Alright, I'm thinking I'm bringing the baby back now. That was a fun ride. It's different. Definitely, look at it. It's just, like, it's, I'm not even making it do that. It just, it knows that I want to turn that way. Like, the handlebars kind of just went, go that way. I don't I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I'm serious. Watch this, I'm gonna try to turn in here at a slow speed. All right, turn. Yeah, see, it's going. 
going, it's going. It's going, it's going. That's crazy. I like it though. It's a good bike. Yeah, thanks for letting me ride the bike. Alright, I'll see you bro. Right. Bye Vita. Alright, I'm back to my baby now. Let's go. She's a little dirty. She's a little dirty, but you know. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Oh, it's my car, but not my car. I have that car though, but not my, not that. That's not my car. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I'm talking about my car. Yeah, my bike sounds really quiet compared to his, compared to a lot of people's bikes. But oh man, my bike feels so much more nimble. Yeah, jumping back on this bike. I don't know. I feel at home. I really, I'm just really comfortable with my bike, with this 929, it just, it feels like it's a lot more easier to ride, I don't know, maybe it is the chrome rims, I mean, that's going to put a lot of weight on it, and the bike is, it's pretty heavy, um, I'll Google it, but jumping back on this bike, yeah, uh, it doesn't make me want to upgrade or anything, um, I, I really like this bike, I really like my 929. It just feels so much more nimble. Yeah, I've been having a lot of audio issues as far as mic, things like that. Um, I've been losing a lot of good footage. And, well, not, I still have the footage. It's just like the, the audio quality that goes with it. It's horrible. I'll probably do some voiceovers or something. But uh, that's why I haven't posted in the last couple weeks. I was trying to get, at least get a video out once a week. Uh, maybe more two videos a week, but I just wasn't happy with the quality um, So hopefully this video turns out on um, please 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 Hopefully it turns out well Yeah, I had to move the mic around a little bit. I had some settings that I had to adjust on the GoPro Just trying to provide the best content possible You know, I gotta keep improving I know that first video with the CBR 1000 LR, the audio quality was pretty bad, in my opinion, but I got a lot of views on it. Decent amount. I gotta get some gas. Gas light just came on. Yeah, I got the twisty 60s, so definitely in my power band more, so I got 118 out of this tank. I'm happy if I can get 140 um, when the light comes on. Man. That's fun. That's fun to ride the 1000 double R. There's this gas station. Let me go back around. I don't want to go to High V gas station. I don't have anything against them. I had a comment on one of my videos saying like the newer bikes. Well, they are, they are just a little tiny, and it's right. That, even though that CBR is not that much newer than this bike, and it's pretty old compared to what's all the bikes that are out now, but man, they just got smaller and smaller. And I get it. It's you know you're trying to be as aerodynamic and light as possible. Yeah, I also had to mention. Um, yeah, I got the cable clutch and. They, what, I think they changed it to uh, 04 to the hydraulic. Oh man, gas station right there. Oh yeah. Honestly, I think if you were to ask me to trade um, straight up, I probably would. Just for the fact that, you know, it is the leader bike. Um, you know, it weighs more. It does have, what, uh, I believe like one... 75 horsepower around there somewhere uh, I'll fact check myself again but 175 versus uh, the 150 on this I mean that one weighs more this one weighs less baby girl, don't be mad baby girl I still love you I'm not gonna leave you don't worry about it I got you babe Got you, babe. With the 1000, though, that did feel stable. It just felt that weight just gives it that stability. Like, I can just, I don't know, I could just feel the, the difference just swinging the bike between my legs. I 
got some other bike reviews that I'll do. I can't wait to do the Ducati 849. That's the one I'm really excited to, to ride. And I want to get back on that uh, 04 R1 again. Actually, it's, gonna get, it's getting tuned up right now. So stay tuned, guys. I got more content. Don't subscribe. Hit that like, smash that sh what did you just say? No, but hit that like, leave a comment, I appreciate everything, I appreciate the support. I got over 300 subscribers. It's been a long journey, it's been, I don't know, I've been posting videos for like four years or something like that. So 300 subscribers is a milestone for me. We're taking it step by step. We're going to go to 400, and then 500, and so on and so on. Stick with me though, just stick with me, don't give up on me. Have a blessed day everyone. Stay safe out there. Stay safe, stay clean. Subscribe, get a big thumbs up. And